that takes animals to the classrooms across the area, putting students face to face with exotic animals uh, and creatures that they normally wouldn't see or they would normally see only behind some mm -hmm. glass. Uh, the hands-on education has some smiling and others screaming. The exotic zoo made a thrilling visit to Detroit's McDowell Elementary School. Who wants to see the snake? And at times, it was hard to tell who was more overwhelmed, the students or the animals. The zoo's founder always loves the reaction. A lot of the students, when they get a chance to see the animal, they're really, really excited. Um, they want to know what they eat, where they come from. Believe it or not, some of the children may be skeptical at first. Some of the kids even think that the snake is fake until they really get a chance to really grab it. Educators delivered on a uniquely memorable moment with these reptiles. Our principal and the teachers here, former and present, we go outside of the box to teach our students. It's very rare that you'll be able to have a student walk up to a, a python of that size and touch it. And once his exhibit is over, they go and take pictures. It'll be something that they'll, they'll have forever and they'll never forget. And once hooked, students learn how to discover and develop their passions from their environment. And it's my passion, I, uh, something that I did as a kid. I used to have frogs and iguanas, and as I got older, I began to get larger animals. Including family and others they know. My oldest brother, he used to go outside and pick up beetles, make ant farms, and things like that. And I was really inspired by my oldest brother, and he's the one that really got me into these animals. So it may lead to a career at the exotic zoo, the Detroit Zoo, or taking care of your family pet. It gives the kids something to look forward to every year, and then they get to go back and read more about it. Maybe we had one kid who decided he might want to become a veterinarian. And joining us live this morning with one of his animals is Javon Stax, the co-founder of the Exotic uh, Zoo. Thank you yeah. very much, Javon, for coming in. Good morning. Thank How you big is this guy? He's six and a half feet, exactly. <laughs> Rhonda, do you want to get over here closer? <laughs> no. Oh, you're okay? Okay, she's okay. <laughs> Where did you get this thing from? <laughs> well, a lot of my animals, I travel to different places, and I have some breeders that um, breed some of the animals for me. It wasn't quite the size of when I purchased them, but it was, you know, it was a lot smaller. I oh grew them pretty big. Goodness. You should really feel, I mean, it's interesting texture. I bet it skin. is. Mm-hmm. Well, um, <laughs> Talk about uh, his jaws are obviously taped shut here because we wouldn't let you in the building. If yeah. You that way. <laughs> but that said, talk about his biting power. Well, this alligator, um, alligators and crocodiles hold the strongest biting pressure in the world, which is up to 5,500 pounds of pressure. Hmm. And compared to even a lion, a lion has almost about 975. And a dog has about 375 pounds of pressure. This is bone crushing power. I mean, it actually destroys the bones of the, the predators that they eat. Now, we also saw snakes in your most recent visit. What other animals do you show to kids? Um, we show snakes, tarantulas, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. You like that? Giant. Oh, <laughs> oh that that there's no way you would have been in the building this you know, morning with <laughs> Madagascar hissing cockroaches. But it's great that you've taken your passion into the schools, and it looks like it really yeah. has a great impact on the kids yeah, as yes, well. Yeah. It's moving. Hi, Shabon. Hi, Shabon. I really am. Really nice to see you, Shabon. That, really, that was really a good segment. Fine. He oh. gets to moving a little bit sometimes. Oh. Easy, big fella. His name We're is good. Bolo. Uh -huh. Bolo, he, he gets like that sometimes. But that's know. a sign of affection, isn't it? Yes, yes right. it is. Well, actually, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good, Andrew. Good spin, Andrew. Oh, actually, um, what, what we do is we perform at the schools, libraries, and um, churches. A lot of different events for um, up close and personal hands-on experience. It's very cool. Let's get the phone number here. You see it on the screen. 734 444 5266 if you'd like information because the kids they love this as you found out Andrew <laughs> oh they certainly do and hey I think we got our favorite piece of video since we're recording this show <laughs> when that gator start, started moving oh, yeah. I've been crying ever since they walked in I'm terrified you've been crying since the two little boys and the dad <laughs> oh, <laughs> but speaking of kids you've been inspiring many of them across the nice. southeast cool. Michigan they need it thank yeah. you very much for coming oh, thank you all for doing. inviting us thank you all for having us here thank great you. great program all right <laughs> Bolo likes it too <laughs> you what's, keep what's liking her name? it, Bolo. 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 This oh, is a Bolo male. boy. Okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You good boy, Bolo. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Still ahead, it is a frenzy here. It's also a frenzy someplace else. Yeah, Laura Pedell is live at Cats Tech. Hi. Good morning, Laura.